Many people cannot wait to visit Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam again after the country has been shut down for over a year due to the coronavirus. When Vietnam opens up again, there are so many places and things to see and do. Here is a list of 10 places that you definitely need to see when you get to Saigon. Keep in mind, this is just a short list of so many places that you need to see when you can eventually get the opportunity to visit this wonderful country. Number 1, The Independence Palace. The palace is set in lovely grounds. You need to set aside a number of hours to tour the palace properly. There are quite a few stairs to negotiate when walking through the building, but there is an elevator that you can use to access the different levels. Many people will recall the media attention during the Vietnam War of the North Vietnamese tank crashing through the gates of the palace which was at that time home to the President of South Vietnam. The interior has been lovingly preserved and retains the elegant furnishings of the day. Number 2, New Win Hue Street. Amazing how the locals, young and old, emerge when the sun sets and the weather cools. The skyscrapers lining the streets are colorfully illuminated, as pedestrians walk the promenade in the center of busy New Win Hue Street. This is truly a popular and happening place where you can locate numerous restaurants and a good selection of hotels. Enjoy the water fountain features which are playfully colorful, as are the flowers, and note the French colonial Ho Chi Minh City People's Committee presiding at the far end, which is exquisitely lovely at night. Number 3, The Coochie Tunnels. The Coochie Tunnels are a vast network of tunnels used by the Viet Cong during the Vietnamese War. The tunnels are narrow and very, very claustrophobic, even the ones that have been widened for the more larger Western visitors to crawl through. Astounding to think that not only were the tunnels used during combat but also used as living quarters and to house supplies of food and weapons. Within the War Memorial Park you can also view some rather chilling traps and weapons of war and the craters left from bombing missions. This is a real insight into guerrilla warfare. Note, the terrain is very uneven and probably not suitable for anyone with severe walking disability. Number 4, Buivin Walking Street. Buivin Street is the main street of the so-called backpackers area of Ho Chi Minh City. Here you can find a wide variety of inexpensive restaurants, bars, souvenir shops and hotels and hostels. While being seated at one of the places you can soak up the local lifestyle and culture. You can shop, dine and party on Bui Bean Street. The total area consists of roughly four streets and some small interconnecting alleys. To have dinner here is very affordable and will cost you around 4 to 8 US dollars. For this amount you will have a decent meal including a drink. The options vary from Vietnamese, Indian, Italian to Chinese and Western. Number 5, Ho Chi Minh City's Book Street. One of the greatest features of this street is that no cars or motorbikes are allowed on this street. So if you need to break away from the never-ending stream of cars and motorbikes on the streets of Ho Chi Minh City, make time to visit this quiet and very safe street. The street is also filled with cafes and bookstores so it lends to its cute and quiet vibe. However, the bookstores mostly carry books in Vietnamese so it is actually not a great spot for browsing through books unless your Vietnamese is proficient enough. Number 6, Saigon Center. There is definitely no lack of malls in District 1. Saigon Center is one of the newer malls around and it is worth a visit just to compare it with some of the other older malls. The layout of Saigon Center is definitely more customer oriented as it is easy to move around and there are resting areas with seats strategically scattered for customers to take a break while they are shopping. The main anchor tenant is Takashimaya, which occupies four levels. There are also many typical brands represented at the mall. With the future underground rail being constructed, it should be a breeze to visit it when the line is operational. Number 7, Chill Sky Bar. Chill Sky Bar is a modern stylish and vibrant club which features a lounge bar as well as dining. 
It offers a wonderful nightlife experience. It is notably the first in the original Sky Bar concept in Vietnam. It is perched atop of the AB Tower in the bustling District 1 of Ho Chi Minh City and is situated exclusively on the 26th floor of the city skyline. The music played in the lounge and Sky Bar ranges from hip-hop, R&B to mash-up and top 40 commercial. Number 8, Cho Lon Saigon's Chinatown. Located just west of the city center, Cho Lon is Ho Chi Minh's historic Chinatown, the largest of its kind in all of Vietnam. For anyone visiting the sprawling economic hub of the nation, these chaotic boulevards and spider webbing alleyways make a great day trip outside of District 1. Cho Lon is home to a wide array of traditional Vietnamese and Chinese restaurants. In District 5, both Tan Ngo Nguyen Thai and Tien Phat Dim Sum have become somewhat famous among locals and expats. Both serve up an incredible variety of steamed or pan-fried Chinese dumplings. Like the rest of Cho Lon, and the rest of the city for that matter, they're both a bit hectic and chaotic, yet make for a great meal if you're in the area exploring. Within the confines of Binte Market, there's a great food court that serves up local specialties. It's usually on the busy side, yet a nice way to get a glimpse into the culture and to find a fantastically cheap meal. Number 9, Saigon River Boat Tour. Nothing can compare with the charm of the river tour, to hear the waves lapping with a drink in hand and a cool breeze on your skin. Even if you're on a budget, there are options, and if you have money to spend, this is one activity that you should not pass up. The more reputable companies offer amazing dinner and drink packages, and on boats you have to see to believe. There are lovely views you get from the river as well, from the skyscrapers of downtown to the lush jungle foliage mere minutes up the river. This is a very fun and exciting way to see this city. Number 10, Dine Along the Saigon River. When you set foot outside around lunchtime in this city, you'll understand why most people do everything they can to avoid the midday sun. It'll cook you in minutes, leaving you burnt and miserable. That's why you should leave the best for dusk, when the sun glows orange on the smoggy horizon and the heat tapers off. For one of the best dining experiences in the city, head to Tao Dean Ward in District 2 and dine along the river. There are several excellent choices, including the deck, the boathouse, and Villa Song Saigon. These are definitely worth the trip. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you can visit Ho Chi Minh City just as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel to see all of my future videos from Vietnam, and please give this video a thumbs up. I hope to resume my street videos as soon as the lockdown ends. Thank you so much, and best wishes to everyone.